I was searching through the internet for new manhwa to read, and I came across a post saying this will rival solo leveling. So me being the solo leveling fan I am, I had to read it. And this is what I saw. They say every great mind has a touch of madness. Insanity allows the ascension to new heights. Since the beginning of history, monsters have plagued the world, but luckily powerful adventurers are present to fight back against the monsters and protect humanity. Selenus ranked fifth. Alexandria ranked fourth. Tor ranked third. The four horsemen who are at the pinnacle of power amongst the adventurers set off to a new gate that the emperor instructed them to go to called the Mad Gate. Seeing that this particular gate needed all four of the horsemen, it had to be a powerful gate. Eon, which is the main character of this story, wants to one day be as strong as the four horsemen. But unfortunately, he is weak but he just so happens to be Tor's personal assistant. After fending off a few of the weaker monsters, a large volcanic monster appears and says to the adventurers, you've come seeking the treasure of the Mad Gate, but none of you understands its true nature. Here, only madness is rewarded. Then we see a man floating above the galaxy which seems to be the leader of the gate. But then, the volcanic monster begins to attack the four horsemen. Tor immediately dodges the massive blast that was heading their way and flies away with Eon. Seeing how weak Eon is, one hit could kill him. That's when Eon remembers Alexandria was hit by that blast and gets worried and shouts her name. But fortunately, the four horsemen are very strong and Alexandria shakes it off and goes right back at the monster. After getting Eon to a safe enough place, Tor drops him, which actually causes him to break his leg from the fall because of how weak he is. The four horsemen continue to fight against the volcanic monster with beautiful teamwork from each person, eventually giving Tor the final shot, killing the volcanic monster. Originally, Everyone thought this monster was the dungeon boss until they heard another voice say, Well done, well done. So you've come to claim the powers and riches. Adventurers, greedy as always. That's when Arian notices that it's an infernal lord speaking and he continues on saying, There's only one phase left. You all seem like such good friends. Decide which one of you deserves to die and sacrifice them on that altar. Fail to play the game, and my dungeon's gift will lock away forever. You have 10 minutes. Let's have some real fun. Who will they choose?